The track at Jeddah is unique in many ways as it is a street circuit, but it is also the second longest and second fastest track on the F1 calendar. There are many blind corners and the walls are quite close in some of the really fast sections. Red Bull's Max Verstappen has now given his honest opinion of this track while speaking to the Daily Mail. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Max Verstappen questions safety of Jeddah track. Max began by speaking about his image in the sport. I'm not in Formula 1 to be famous. I wish I could be anonymous. I don't think of Formula 1 as a big game or something to make your life glamorous. I'm not bothered about looking good on camera. Everyone has a hobby, I guess. My hobby is racing, winning, beating my rivals. He then turned his attention to the Jetta Corniche track. It's quite a dangerous track. There are so many blind corners, so if someone is slow around one, you wouldn't know it until you got there. He also alluded to the possibility of a big accident. I expect a bit of trouble. There could be some big shunts. He signed off by giving his thoughts on why such a track was approved. I wonder who signs off these kinds of tracks. I mean, great idea. I guess they have 90 million reasons why. Fast feed. Max Verstappen pointed out that he was on a really good lap until he lost it in the final corner. I thought I had approached it in the same way I had been doing all session, but I lost the rear. I'm upset with myself and it is of course disappointing. But there are two races to go and anything can happen. We had a good car in qualifying and everything was coming together which gives me hope going into the race. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner suggested that it was looking like the lap of the year until that moment. It's a great shame as it was a mighty, mighty lap and he was pulling something very special out of the bag. Max will be frustrated I am sure as he knows what a good lap it was. But he just needs to put it behind him now. He's still P3 on the grid and he just needs to have a good start as anything could happen in this race. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton explained that this place is one of the hardest tracks to get right. I was on the limit the whole way around and the car was on a knife edge. We're all on the edge and there's a wall of champions everywhere here. So a really complex track and incredibly quick. It was enjoyable though, intense but enjoyable. I think this one was a bit more heart in your mouth for all of us, and yes, we got that lap, which in the end was good enough, but if Max had finished his lap, they would have been ahead. McLaren's Lando Norris feels that he will have a small advantage at the start with a soft tyre, so I need to make the most of that, but for the rest of the race it's going to make it a lot trickier. I'm still in a decent position to score some points tomorrow, so we'll see what we can do. Haas driver Nikita Mazepin feels that he should have been better in qualifying. Unfortunately, qualifying is about a lot of other things letting you do your lap. 6.1 kilometers on this track isn't enough for even the best in our sport to get through. I was dive bombed by 4 or 5 cars into the last corner when I was trying to make a gap and ended up racing Fettel on the start finish line, so I didn't get my lap in. How many safety cars do you expect during the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.